And y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to episode five. Episode five of the Origins of the Civil War. That's been FLOs again, like always. The battle between Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg. And a little Civil War that started at Mercedes between you two. Um, are we going to see a 2.0 <laughs> between Verstappen and Perez? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, a very eventful, eventful weekend. Um, a lot of stuff went on this weekend. I think I'll, I think something that that's been lost in it was the Leclerc and Ferrari radio. Obviously, Ferrari still finished good, had a solid weekend. Remember, uh, Leclerc was kind of complaining, crying towards the uh, you know the uh, F, the Ferrari crew talking about you know the guys think about the long term. You know, let me get you know Carlos Spy stuff like that. I'm like nah, 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 <laughs> nah. But uh, you don't really hear in, in, anything about that. I kind of just thought about Tay. I'm like, wasn't like Clear also crying as well, talking about you know position stuff like that. But hey, anyway, um, yeah. So like I said, Abu Dhabi. Looking forward to man. It can be interesting to see what happens with Red Bull. Like I said, I still like for stopping. Um, I just think that was just like a dude. Like come on, man. Like, like <laughs> come on, my guy. Come on, bro. We are better than that. But anyway, we're at the German GP. Remember, uh, Lewis Hamilton just won at the British Grand Prix. And uh, let's get started. That's it. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm okay. Remember, oh, he, uh, he just crashed. Something uh, hit the brakes and some, uh, the brakes failed. A key difficult time in qualifying for Lewis Hamilton. I believe there's been at least nine brake failures this year with those discs. There are some peas. a fact? No, there have been two. This was the second one of the same, uh, how do you call it, same way. The disc broke and failed, and uh, therefore we changed now. We have to change the brakes now, or the discs now. And uh, it's uh, it that Luis now has to start all the way from the back. It's annoying, but this is the way it is. What have you been able to say to Luis after the accident yesterday or this morning? Uh, anything he needs talking through with you? After the accident, he was certainly depressed. First of all, he, he hurt himself. You know, so I'm not sure how long the video is going to be because this is like a full documentary. So I'm probably just going to play it out and, ju and just go from there. Like, let's let's just watch it. And um, I spoke to him and I simply explained what we all know. It's motor racing. Things can happen. And his spirit has changed. Today, he's back to absolutely normal, highly motivated to make the best out of his terrible starting position. Dang, P20 is not good, though. I mean, he crashed though. Sucks. Hey, remember, Sergio uh, Sergio Perez had a, a few years back a last the first win, so. I think that's the scariest, like, kind of incident. You're upside down and, like, sliding. Uh, 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 Whew. Jeez. Racing once again, and it's Nico Rosberg then that will lead them past the grandstands and down the main straight once more. Hamilton down the inside at turn two on Max Chilton. There's one overtake done. Lewis Hamilton is going for it here on Pastor Maldonado. Hamilton very quickly onto Grosjean now up into 13th place who turn one. So we come to Bottas behind this 1.8, so looking up the tyres. And Sable, oh. oh no, closes in and they touch. There's Jean Eric Verne being passed by not one but two cars, and now Hamilton might have a little go himself into this hairpin. Ricardo is wise to it, and there is no room through. There goes Hamilton again, down the inside, late under braking, locks up, and they suddenly touch, and there's a bit of bodywork flies off the Ferrari. As into the pits comes our race leader, Nico Rosberg, and Hamilton now comes into the pits. Another set of soft compound tyres. Here's Hamilton and Ricardo. Hamilton with tyres that are that much fresher. DRS advantage as well, tries a little switcheroo on Daniel Ricciardo, and it's wheel to wheel, but not for long, as Hamilton gets himself ahead of the Red Bull. We are not expecting any rain before the end of the race. Expecting. <laughs> 
God dang, Lewis! Uh, can we just give a big shout out to Lewis Hamilton for what he's doing in his race? Losing his front wing right, right now. He started at P20. He's like P... He's in like the top six. Is he going to win this? Is Lewis going to win this? P5. Fifth place now for Lewis Hamilton. And they're not changing that uh that front. They're not changing that uh that front. Nico Rosberg win the German Grand Prix. Great driving. Nico wins it. So Lewis wins British. Nico Nico wins uh Germany. P20 and P3 is amazing though. That's still amazing, man. Oh yeah, Vought 3. Oh, Jesus, hungry now. I've got fire, guys. Oh, she's gone! Hey! Target where you can find a marshal. I'm in the pit lane. Roger, there's marshals just there. So pull up there, pull up there. Stop, stop, stop. Marshal with fire extinguisher right behind you. The car won't stop. Okay, just hit, hit P0. Go to P0. Okay, marshals behind you. Jump out, jump out. Back to back weekends, man. What was that, college as well? Yeah, there's lots of things going through my mind. It's getting to the point that it's kind of beyond bad luck now, so we need to do better. And I, I think I said this last race as well, but I think, you know, a lot of issues is favoring Nico. Like, I think Lewis is having a lot of issues the last couple of races just with the car and stuff like that. And Nico's kind of been benefiting from it, so. Ooh, it's raining though. Rosberg, 14 points in the lead. Perfect day yeah, for him yesterday. Another pole position. His nearest challenger, Lewis Hamilton, uh, with the fire because of that uh, fuel leak, not making it to the uh, pit lane and not setting a time and starting from that pit lane for this afternoon. 20 cars on the grid then for the Hungarian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Rosberg gets away well. So does Bottas from third. Sebastian Vettel now slots in behind Rosberg as down towards turn one they go. Yeah, we. <laughs> No way. Problems spinning already as that cold tires down at turn two that caused that. Oh my god. Get the wall, I think. My front left. Just check my wing and everything. The brakes just gave up. Okay, copy that, Lewis. So brakes are cold. Brakes are cold. My brakes still not working. It's still passive. Okay, so we just need to get some brake temperature into the front right. It is starting to come up. Oh yeah, he's done. Forget it. There's no point, Lewis. It's the second time just now. Hey, he has P15 though, so... P14, 13, he moving up. And that's Marcus Ericsson. Substantial damage we do have. Godly Marcus Ericsson. Here in Hungary. Wasn't he at, uh... So he was... Into the pits, <laughs> he was the F1 uh, a few years ago, I think. Is in as well. uh, is in and there is 
I just know him from uh, from Job Chief Survive. That's the only reason I said it. But he was the F1, I think, a, 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 a few years ago. Has made it round to come in, as has the man in second, third, and the uh, fourth. Button goes through your screen, and now out comes Rosberg. There's Felipe Massa, Kevin Magnussen as well, Sebastian Vettel, Jean Eric Verne, and Fernando Alonso. Safety car coming in then, and we can start to get racing once again properly here at the Hungaro Ring. There goes Lewis, P11. Can you get inside top to the game? This is we're on board now with Nico Rosberg going down the main straight. He's got Kevin Magnussen wheel to wheel with it. Magnussen on the intermediates. Gets better grip under braking. Forces Rosberg wide. Who's coming through on the inside? There's Jean Eric Fern alongside Nico Rosberg. Now we watch to see Lewis Hamilton as well. Hamilton's two cars behind his championship rival now. That's going to bring him to life. I wonder if Rosberg's still struggling with his braking because he's just falling back through the field. And all, there's the Force India of Sergio Perez careering across the track and slamming into the pit wall. Shouldn't it be a, uh, a red flag? Box, 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 but do the opposite to turn. Rosberg will now come back out again. Adjustments to the front wing, soft tyres going on. Rosberg on Bottas. into the pits now the medium compound tire where's it bring hamilton out behind alonso but critically ahead of rosberg okay lewis get up to nico one second he's on the option tire he has one more stop so don't hold him up why is he not letting me through okay lewis if you let nico pass at this lap please let nico pass on the main start finish straight no, i'm not slowing down for nico Isn't that similar to a uh, Verstappen and, and Perez? <laughs> Isn't that similar to what happened this past weekend between Verstappen and uh, Checo? Mercedes have now thought enough is enough. We have got to bring Nico Rosberg in. Change of tyres, soft compound, unsurprisingly, on that car and away you go. So great job, Nico. So just catch up the front runners. Your P4 at the moment. This is going to be crucial. Moves over to Duran Defend and force Ricardo the long way round once again. And it was the right move. But okay. now Ricardo's got the inside line. Lewis Hamilton's brave defence of second place comes to an end. He's now looking at Fernando Alonso, and down the inside goes Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo now starts the final lap. Hamilton's going to have to position that Mercedes perfectly as Alonso goes into turn two ahead of Hamilton, of Rosberg. Rosberg trying to go round the outside like Ricciardo did. He's forced off the track by Lewis Hamilton. Great defense. Hey, Danny Ray. <laughs> That boy is Danny Rick. Hey, back to back races, Lewis, man. <laughs> that was also via the barriers at the second corner at the start. What a crazy afternoon you've had. It's been a pretty crazy weekend. When you got out of the car yesterday, obviously you were disappointed that you had that failure. And uh, you'd mentally put yourself over 30 points behind Nico. You were convinced he would win and you would struggle to get in the top five. And here you're on the podium. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, big thank you to the team. They did a great job with the pit stop. Hey, shout out Danny Rick, man. And I just tried my best. My boy. Fantastic when it's going. So, um, obviously, a lot of points lost because we could have uh, had a much better weekend. But uh, we've got a lot of uh, strengths to look forward to in the, in the future hey, races. You, you were really struggling in the beginning. You were talking about the diff, talking about a vibration. We heard you were getting very hot in your seat. So, you were clearly nursing a few issues as well. Yeah, uh, well, to be honest, at the beginning, uh, obviously a mistake myself, but the, the brakes were very, very cold and locked up and I was gone. Fortunately, I got going again. Thank the Lord. It's crazy how much, like, stuff is in F1, just from a mechanical point of view. Like, I had no idea, like, 
the brakes being cold is, I mean, it does make sense though. Like, you know, you got to warm the brakes up. It's like, you know, like, it's kind of like breaking in cleats. You, know, you got to break the cleats in. All right, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, didn't damage the car. I didn't know that. You know, damage limitations again. Can we interview? One of your finest ever drives? Can we? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Should Lewis have led him past to complete his strategy? Tricky one. I think we need to analyze that properly uh, and, uh, and, uh, and look at the situation and would not make a quick knee jerking thing now and uh yeah he yeah. lost about eight seconds he was for 10 laps behind lewis and he's finished what just a few seconds much less than that off the win yeah but then they're fighting for the world championship you know so it's uh, again it's not an easy call you need to look at all the pros and cons and what happened actually and and then what the outcome would have been uh, and then uh, uh, take the consequence from there it wasn't an element that with all the bad luck that Lewis has had, which has been not his fault, it's been the team's fault. You said that earlier on in the day, that you didn't want to press the point home to order him to let Nico pass again, again. Yeah, probably the played a role. Yeah, I know you'll be disappointed with uh, fourth today. Total. I guess Total. it's a, a case of yeah. not being able to recover from that first safety car. Um, I'm uh, definitely editing that part out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was that was definitely uh, hurt my race a lot because up to then it was really going well and um, but things like that happen, you know. In a race like today, so many things happen, so it's, it's not unusual that some things go wrong. And um, then also strategy, I think, was not uh, not the right thing to do. Um, but you know, that's, that's that's the way it is. In hindsight, it's always easier to say. And most of all, though, I, I had a I had a chance in the last lap, you know, which was exciting. Um, but I'm very, very annoyed that I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to make it happen. It was obviously going to be difficult. Um, but Lewis made a mistake in turn one, and that gave me a small chance. Um, just tried around the outside, but uh, didn't work out. And what about the radio message that that were going backwards and forwards about you wanting Lewis to to let you pass, given that you were on a different strategy? No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't want. Uh, it was the team that informed me that he was going to let me pass. Um, that was it. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what what happened. Then we need to discuss uh, internally. It's better. Is that maybe because you weren't quite close enough to him at that stage? Because certainly what he said back in the road was, "When he catches me up, I will." I don't know. We need to speak about it internally. Okay. Well, listen. Um, bad luck today, but uh, well done on what was, as you say, many variables. Yep. It's okay. I mean, still uh, ahead in the championship, going into the summer break. Now I'll sit down, you know, rethink everything, and then full on attack uh, coming back. Jeez. All right, we get the Belgium GP, man. P1 and P2. Still breaks a good balance front and rear. Uh, tires are coming up nicely. Where it's lights out and away we go, and Hamilton gets an absolute flyer from second on the grid. And God damn! Who's been challenged by uh, Sebastian Vettel going round the outside? But it's Hamilton who leads them into a rouge, and this is where Sebastian Vettel took the lead last year. That boy Sam. It's Hamilton, and he's trying to go round the outside, and they come. Hamilton is just in there. Sebastian Vettel has to go straight on. Lewis was a little bit wide on the way into Eau Rouge and it cost him. He had to get out of it at the top of the hill and that's why he needs to go defensive. DRS not in play yet, but Hamilton hasn't got the grip that Rosberg has got. Oh, oh and uh, to be fair, Hamilton has actually got more of a front wing now. Puncture. He's got a puncture, Lewis Hamilton. He's going to hit me. He's going to hit me. For the first time this season, we've seen the two Mercedes drivers coming together, collision into the chicane. Three straight races. It's something. Oh. <laughs> God. God, Lewis Hamilton now God getting back lame, into the pits. Man. Question is, is there any further damage to that car than just the left rear tire? It's the medium compound tire going on. Okay, it looks fine on the TV, Nico. Looks fine on the TV. Have you had a good look at my front wing? Keep you advised on it. This left rear tire is not going to go into that 15. Okay, Lewis. So yes, we'll uh, we'll manage it as best we can.
as Kimi Raikkonen now comes in a Ferrari. You can see him there as Raikkonen now goes ahead of Nico Rosberg in this race. Rosberg is out but has been stationary for longer. What's Rosberg picked up here? What the heck is? The aerial of the car. It's, it's, that, that is going to be severely distracting. What is that? What the heck is that? Is he going to go for his gun? To go around the outside. There's a massive lockup from Nico Rosberg. He keeps the car under control. Rosberg has gone for the move on Fettel. It didn't pay off. And has that now cost him? He's lost out to Bottas. Here's Hamilton then pitting from 16th place for a new set of tyres. I've got nothing, guys. I've never been so bad. Jensen Button into the Lecomte chicane, Nico Rosberg. Oh, Lewis. Uh. Pulls out onto the dirty side. He's on the marbles. Wow. Nico Rosberg side by side through. Blanche him on. And he's just ahead there of Valtteri Bottas. Rosberg back in second place now. It's retiring Lewis Hamilton with five laps to go. Back to back wins for Danny Rick. This championship lead and settles for second place. I can just tell you this is an absolutely unacceptable race for us. In lap two, our drivers crashing into each other. Uh, unbelievable. He's Where is the man? He's here. He's Nico pissed. Rosberg, ladies and gentlemen. That's a mixed reaction simple it is unacceptable for me that in the second lap nico hits lewis very simple unacceptable <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> oh that's <embarrassing>. a <laughs> look at dane reggie champ dude look at vatry again in the podium my boy dane reggie just hey just smile through it baby just smile you through it to blame uh, it's not, it's not a blaming game, it's, I was ahead. I was quicker and I, and I wanted to overtake and I went for it. Uh, the inside was locked, uh, closed up, so I went around the outside and tried to go for it. And then, uh, unfortunately, we touched. Yeah, and I lost a lot of points today. We lost a lot of points today as a team. We could have easily had a 1-2, so, uh, you know, coming into this weekend, the rule has always been to look out for the team as number one and then race as much as we can without putting uh, the other team member in, uh, in jeopardy of, of points and today that wasn't the case after such a difficult uh, moment as a team we do have to um we, we're, we're gonna have to sit down for sure yeah? just to clarify you don't <laughs> no i'm not uh, My man, saying that at the moment i haven't seen it yet uh, so i need to look at it i don't have an opinion at the moment oh brother hey to be honest, I'm, I'm not even sure i want the video is even is uh oh man it's uh it's, it's getting good this is getting good between these two um i'm lost for words i'm lost for words man between these two uh dang <laughs> dang uh you guys let me know you guys thoughts a minute oh, Man, a lot of you guys probably lived through this. You guys probably, you know, watched this live while it happened anyway. But, uh, for my first time, really checking out this feud between the two, man. It's, it's, um, the first time I think we really seen Total Wolf, Nicky Lauda, just really, really irritated. And, uh, it showed. It showed. It showed. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't, don't forget to like the video and sub as well. Stay safe. As always, see you later, man. Peace.